All right, so just going to continue on where we last left off. And uh, I think it's working on the mouth, if I'm correct. So uh, same thing as before. So I'm just going to take this. I'm going to turn hit B to remove soft select. And I'm just going to take it and kind of move it up and over. We'll take the nose part here and move that up. Take this, move that up, take this, move that up. Uh, maybe move it over a little this way too, um, like so. All right. So we're just trying to roughly shape this. And you can see my mouth looks a bit Charlie Brown, so I'm going to take that and kind of pull this out and over. Um, we'll take this and try to move this in. Take this and move that out in a little bit more. Um, something kind of like that. Take this down. Okay, so, uh, all right, so we got kind of a, a thing going on there. All right, um, okay, so, uh, let's go ahead and we'll add an ear. So, ear is really kind of generic. I'm not going to worry about making it look too great. Uh, roughly find uh, two faces that work for you. So, I'm going to say this one and this one. Um, that's probably good enough for an ear. Uh, depends on the size of the ears you want to do. I'm just going to do two. I'll control E to extrude and I'll hit W for the move tool. I'm going to pull it out a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and, um, well, we'll just pull it out a little bit like that. And that looks very adequate. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I want this, uh, merge. So I'm going to use, I'm going to right click, drag up to edge, use the target weld. I'm going to click from here and drag to there and here to here. Okay. So basically you end up with something like that. And I'll hit W for the move tool. I'm still on the edges here. I'm just going to kind of pull this one up. And then I'll grab this one here. Let's see. And let's kind of pull this one this way. And we're going to call that good for an ear for now. It's not a good ear, but it's... Well, actually, we'll do this too. I'm going to right-click. Oops, right-click, drag down to face. Select this one and this one. Hit uh, Control e for extrude. I'm going to click this little cube. And then this one. Shrink it in a little bit like that. You can kind of see what that looks like. And then I'm going to hit control E again to extrude again, W. And this time, for whatever reason, my arrow showing up over here. So we'll do it over here. I want to push in a little bit. And you can see now the ear kind of goes in. Okay. So you get kind of a eerie like shape. All right. Um, now let's go ahead and do the nose. So the nose doesn't have a nostril. It's missing some other stuff. So uh, what I'm going to do, so I'm going to right click, go to face. And I'm going to select all of these faces, basically this part here. Okay. So you see what I selected. I'm going to hit control E to extrude. And I'm just going to pull out a little bit. It's going to look like this. And it's not going to look super great. It's going to be kind of weird. Like a clown nose. If I hit three, you can see it's a bit like a clown nose. Um, and what I'm going to do is then I'm going to right click, go to edge. And I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. So I'm going to grab this edge. I guess we'll grab that one. Uh, and pull that up and over. Kind of like that. Uh, like that. Okay. And then we'll grab um, this one. And I'm just going to kind of pull that one forward, like so. And um, then I'm going to right-click over vertices. And I'm just going to try and make this not look quite so bad. Take this one and that one. And pull that down. And take this guy. All right. And we're going to grab this one and this one. Kind of pull that up. And then we're going to grab this one and kind of push that in. And kind of pull that down. Okay. So the idea is if I hit three, which is like, it's sort of like, um, it's sort of the same idea as subdividing, but it's like a preview of subdivision. So you hit three and it will do a preview of subdivided, uh, of your model subdivided. Okay. And then if I hit one, it'll go back. So three and one. Two is halfway between. It shows you the outer shell as well as the smooth. So um, sometimes a good idea to do that so you get an idea of what you got. Um, so I'm going to look at this, and I think this stuff could actually be moved down a little bit because he's got a bit of a millhouse uh, nose. All right, and I'm going to go back here, and I'm looking at this, and it's looking a bit... Oops. Um, so I'm going to grab that one and this one. We'll push this down a little bit, and I'm going to scale it out wider a little bit. It's a lot of just honestly moving points. Um, yeah. That much hasn't honestly changed as much as you would think. And take this and move that one out a little bit. So let's hit three. And that's a little bit better. Okay. Okay. 
So, all right. Um, okay. So there's that. Uh, next thing I need to do is your eyelid actually lays over top, over top of an eyeball. That's actually what shapes the eyelid to a large extent. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a sphere. So I'm just going to click and actually we'll just do it manually. Go to create polygon primitives, uh, hit sphere, hit the option box. Mine's not going to work. I forgot about that. So I'm going to hit uh, to make a sphere. It's going to make, um, this sphere here, as you can see. And I'm just going to, it didn't give me any options. Well, we'll just go with whatever it is. Works for me. Um, so we're going to hit uh, J to do increment and rotate 90 degrees so it's straight. And then I'm going to scale this down. Whoop. And we're gonna take this and put it roughly, um, I'm going to switch to the side, our front view here. Take this guy, pull it up and over, and I'm going to hit R for scale and scale it up roughly to the position of where the eye should be. Go to side view and push it forward. So something like that. Okay. So you get kind of an idea. So you might have to move it around a little bit depending on. Okay. So we'll say that's good. Now what you're going to notice is this doesn't fit very well. So what I got to do is actually adjust the head to fit this. So I'm going to go to vertex, right click, drag to vertex. And I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to hit B for soft select and uh, make it pretty wide by clicking and dragging B. I'm going to pull this forward to kind of cover the eye like so. And then I'm going to go to this one and I'm going to take my soft select down a little bit by holding B and clicking and dragging Oop. and pull it up until it, you can see it's over it. I'm going to go to this one and I'm turning soft select right off and just kind of pull it up. Um, and we'll take this one and kind of pull it around. But you want it to try and wrap around the eyeball. Now, you'll notice is there's a big gap here. So this has actually got to go inwards. So I'm going to grab this one and, oops, so I'm going to grab this, this one, come on, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and we'll push in, okay, I'm going to remove that one from the selection and push in a little bit more, remove this one, push in a little bit more, remove that one, and push in a little bit more, okay, so now if I were to hit three, you'll see that it's sort of, let me grab this one, I'll hit three on that too. Uh, go back to one, but now it sort of goes around the eye. Okay, you kind of roughly get the idea of that. All right. Um, so we have all the base um, stuff that we need for a face. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit more geometry, and then um, we'll try sculpting it because that's always fun. So uh, I need more edge loops around the eyes and around the mouth. So to do that, I'm just going to use my multi-cut tool, click on this, hold control, and I'm just going to go boom, and boom, and then we'll do a couple here, boom, and boom, all right, and I'm going to, actually we'll just do this manually, I'm going to grab this top section here of these, and I should do that too, um, and I'm going to kind of push this in to kind of show how the eyelid gets sucked in, and oops. I'm going to grab this and kind of pull this out. Go to vertice, and we'll kind of pull this out. All right. And I'm going to take this and kind of push this back over. And, ooh, there's a big gap there. I missed, somehow missed that. Let's hit three real quick. Yeah, see, there's a big gap on this side I somehow missed. Um, so I'm going to hold B, click and drag. And we'll push this puppy back. That's a little bit better. And hold B, click and drag, and drag that back. Okay. That's a little better. All right. Um, turn off B, the soft select. And I'll take this and move this down. All right. And then we'll take this one and this one and move it down just to spread it out a little bit. So I have a little more room in there. All right. Dunk, dunk. I'll take this one out. And we'll pull this one down. And we'll take this and push this one out. All right, so he's got a little bit more of a cheek. Kind of pull this here. All right. And uh, so the lips here, um, I'm going to unselect these and just have these ones selected. I'm going to pull these out to make kind of lips, as you can kind of see. And I'll grab these and kind of push these in a little bit. And he's kind of got some lips there. 
Now, one of the things that's kind of weird is you see how some of this has got hard edge and some of it's soft. So, like, there's these, like, discrete, like, jolting areas. I'm going to select the model, and we're going to go to Mesh Display, Soften Edge. And what it's going to do is it's going to soften all of the edges. It's going to make it so none of them are hard. Okay. So, um, yeah, there's that. And he's a little scary. Let's hit three real quick and see what we got. All right. And I'm at one again, and I can see that the eyelid here is not quite, okay. And B for soft select, and I'm just going to kind of pull this up. And kind of pull that up, and maybe we'll just pull this one up. So, three. Just trying to get this eyelid to roughly, um, oops, grab something from behind roughly um you know match the or not have the the eyeball cut through it okay so um be a little bit nicer uh all right so now what i'm going to do is uh we have a basic shape so at this point you could kind of go through and just polish the entirety of it um and uh go to actually you know what i'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick so i'm not obviously super happy with this face it looks a little bit weird so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select the model um, i'm gonna say this is new version first so Control shift s and we'll save it as five all right wherever version yours is i'm gonna switch to the sculpting section and you see this button right here this is um, called relax i'm gonna click on that so you have to have your um, model selected in object mode i'm gonna turn wireframe on shaded which is this right here i don't know if you can see my cursor that guy and I'm just going to brush some of this and what it's going to do is it smooths out um, it relaxes the surface where it's janky where it's overly dense or overly sparse it'll sort of be uh, changes the size of the brush and M uh, is the strength of it okay so just be aware of that so I'm just gonna kind of see if I can soften some of the rougher areas by using this okay so I'm just kind of clicking around and let's see all right um, Q let's see so you can see if I hit three now it's a little bit better okay go back to one now I'm gonna use that but then this one is sculpt so what this does is when you push on something it's going to pull it out so it might not be super let me hit m and click and drag up you see that line that's the strength of it so watch it's going to shoot out okay now b is obviously the size and m is the strength so i'm gonna pull this down and i'm just gonna kind of thicken up some of this area this cheek area if i hold shift when i click that's smooth and control is push it'll do the opposite of whatever the brush is okay so i'm just gonna kind of just generally try to sculpt a little bit. Now he's pretty low poly, so we don't have a lot of, of um, I'm just gonna kinda hit smooth, I'm holding shift and kinda clicking there. Uh, let's hit three, and he still needs more in here. There's not a lot of geometry in here is part of the problem, but just add a little bit more into his cheek area. Okay, he's a little scary. Okay. Um, Looks like one of the dolls from Toy Story, like the ones that Sid messed with and made them into like monsters. That's totally what this guy looks like. Okay, um, but you get the idea. So um, what I'm gonna do next is uh, go through, and we're gonna save this. So I'll just I'm just gonna hit Control S to save again, um, and then the next video what I'm gonna do is just uh, basically try to clean this up a little bit, um, and uh, you know get uh, get it going. Okay.